Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about Google and Google's Music AI Sandbox. So let's get started. Okay, so Google on their keynote announcement had dove a little bit into their Music AI Sandbox. Uh, so this is going to be based off of the Lyra model. And I don't know if you guys have seen anything on this or not, but uh, Lyra is basically an AI tool that allows you to... Um, hum or sing or play a note play some guitar notes or bass notes or you know notes of any instrument and uh have it transformed into something else using ai uh here's an example of this lewis bell uh builds a track with just a hum so unfortunately it doesn't show exactly how he does it but we can get an example of what it's doing Okay, so you can see that was pretty cool. Um, it shows us some examples on what you, what to expect when this does roll out. Uh, we've got right here, um, you know, this is the recorded audio. Uh, this basically is like a kind of a hybrid between a DAW setup and a AI uh, tool. This is this may be what uh, you know musicians have been looking for in the AI space for when it comes to music generation because you can type in your humming and you can type in you can, you can intensify piano guitar uh, distortion pedal but also you can you know you type in all this stuff and it lets you uh, adjust the intensity on all of this which is amazing um, and if you'll notice too like this is going to be a single track so it's going to be an AI track that's its own stem um, I know you'll be able to import MIDI files and transform those. Here's a couple of the examples that they have here. This is uh, transforming a beatboxing into a drum loop. Let's take a quick listen. Okay, pretty impressive. Here is a transforming singing into an orchestra score. Na 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 Okay, so it does not say if you have to actually be able to sing to do that. I cannot sing to save my life. So if, it may be a bunch of weird uh, wrong notes. Uh, transforming MIDI keyboard, uh, keyboard chords into a vocal choir. I'll play this one, then we'll move on to the keynote stuff. So there you have. It. That's what's coming uh, with this uh, with this new Google uh, AI music stuff. So let's check out the keynote and see what they talk about this because it got some really interesting things and they got some demos on here that uh, they have not uh, uh, shared before. So here we go. Another area full of creative possibility is generative music. I've been working in this space for over twenty years, and this is by far the most exciting year of my career. We're exploring ways of working with artists to expand their creativity with AI. Together with YouTube, we've been building Music AI Sandbox, a suite of professional music AI tools that can create new instrumental sections from scratch, transfer styles between tracks, and more. To help us design and test them, we've been working closely with incredible musicians, songwriters, and producers. 
Some of them made even entirely new songs in ways that would have not been possible without these tools. Let's hear from some of the artists we've been working with. I'm gonna put this right back into the music AI tool, the same boom, 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 boom. What happens if Haiti meets Brazil? Dude, I have no clue what's about to be spread out. This is what excites me. As a hip hop producer, we dug in the crates. We play in these vinyls and the part where there's no vocal, we pull it, we sample it, and we create an entire song around that. So right now we digging in the infinite crate, it's endless. Where I found the AI really useful for me this way to like fill in the sparser sort of elements of my loops. Okay, let's try bongos. We're gonna put viola. We're gonna put rhythmic clapping. Okay. And we're gonna see what happens there. And it makes it sound, ironically, at the end of the day, a little more human. So then this is entirely Google's loops right here. These are gloops. <laughs> having like this weird friend that's just like, try this, try that. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's pretty dope. The tools are capable of speeding up the process of what's in my head getting it out. You're able to move light speed with your creativity. This is amazing, that right there, I think this really shows what's possible when we work with the artist community on the future of music. You can find some brand new songs from these acclaimed artists and songwriters on their YouTube channels now. I mean, holy cow, what do you think? Um, I mean, the possibilities are just endless with this. This is going to be basically like having a, like a perfect AI tool for music generation and i wish to goodness that that suno and udo would incorporate some of this type of stuff in, into their music uh generation ai tools uh because they would give you so much control over the outcome you know if you if you want a certain baseline you want to just be able to hum that baseline or you know play it out do 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 then you know you'll be able to get that uh through through ai instead of having to you know actually track it which is nothing wrong with tracking it i still believe in traditional playing music but uh for a lot of people can't play bass or play guitar or they maybe they can't play the bass riff that they have in their head and to me this would be a fantastic tool to be able to accomplish that that's just my thoughts that's my two cents worth what do you guys think leave a comment below thanks for watching